What killed the dinosaurs is now clear thanks to a recent study. The majestic creatures that once roamed the earth millions of years ago have captivated humans for ages. But despite our interest, there is one mystery that has persisted. How did these extraordinary species become extinct? According to the widely accepted idea, a massive asteroid struck the earth, inflicting enormous destruction and ultimately bringing about the extinction of the dinosaurs. This theory, like many scientific hypotheses, is not without its detractors, though. Do you have an improved theory? Stop the video for a while and share your thoughts in the comments section. In any case, some researchers have hypothesized that environmental changes like rising sea levels and significant volcanic eruptions might have had an impact. However, a recent scientific article has offered novel insights about the demise of the dinosaurs. In this video, we'll examine the supporting data from this fascinating new study to determine what actually transpired to these extinct animals. Dano Extinction, the Nuclear Winter The concept of a nuclear winter is one of the most intriguing aspects of the hypothesis that an asteroid was responsible for the demise of the dinosaurs. The phrase is used to depict a disastrous environmental occurrence that would have followed the asteroid crash. An enormous quantity of energy would have been unleashed when a large asteroid crashed with the Earth. This energy would have produced a gigantic fireball that would have released a significant amount of molten rock and other debris into the atmosphere. This debris would have started many fires as it cooled and returned to the Earth's surface, resulting in a nuclear winter effect. In the 1980s, the phrase nuclear winter was first used to depict the potential environmental repercussions of a nuclear conflict. In this scenario, enormous quantities of smoke and debris would be discharged into the atmosphere, obstructing the sun and resulting in a sharp drop in world temperatures. Though intriguing, the notion of a nuclear winter brought on by an asteroid strike is divisive. There is no doubt that the impact would have caused widespread destruction, but some scientists have questioned whether a long-term global cooling effect would have actually resulted from it. But recently, researchers have questioned whether the threat of a nuclear winter was overstated. The scientists contend that even though the impact would have resulted in extensive fires, there may not have been enough smoke and debris discharged into the atmosphere to result in a long-term cooling effect. The new study, whose title is Steady Decline in Mean Annual Air Temperatures in the First 30,000 Years After the Cretaceous-Paleogene Boundary, looks at how temperatures changed in the roughly 4,000 years prior to the collision and the subsequent 30,000 years, with a focus on the so-called mean annual temperature, or MAT, as measured before and after the collision. Dano Measurements, the Mean Annual Temperature you might wish to periodically check your body temperature if you develop a fever. Thank goodness for thermometers, which make deciding whether to take paracetamol or not so much easier. The temperature of items around you can generally be measured very simply with a thermometer. The ability to gauge the Earth's average temperature is a more difficult undertaking. Scientists integrate data from ships, buoys, and occasionally satellites as well as readings from the air above land and the ocean surface to produce a complete picture of the Earth's temperature. Each land and ocean station's temperature is daily compared to what is normal for that area and time, which is typically the long-term average over 30 years. The variations known as anomalies help scientists assess how temperature is changing over time. A temperature anomaly is classified as positive or negative depending on whether it is warmer or cooler than the long-term norm. A month's worth of daily anomalies are averaged together. These are then used to calculate temperature anomalies from year to year and from season to season. Therefore, taking your body temperature is pretty easy, but taking the temperature of the Earth at a particular time is far more difficult. Therefore, you can appreciate how challenging it must be to determine what the mean annual temperature was when dinosaurs were struck by an asteroid. We'll soon be able to examine how scientists were able to make this measurement. 
But let me tell you what they discovered, no rapid post-boundary warming or cooling, such as a nuclear winter, is visible in the data analysis, suggesting that if such events did occur, their duration was quite brief or defined by a submillennial period. Scientists can use fossils to estimate the temperature that existed during the time of the dinosaurs. In particular, coal samples are where bacterial fossils are found. Scientists were able to determine what kinds of substances these ancient bacteria were storing inside their cells during various times in history when they analyzed such fossilized fragments that had been discovered in numerous dumps across Canada. In particular, they could determine whether temperature variations were causing the bacteria's makeup to change in some way. For instance, many bacteria found in colder climates frequently thicken their cell walls during significantly colder times, thus wrapping themselves in a thick blanket. Extreme climate change events have a well-known influence on larger species, but it is less clear how they affect bacterial life. Though some types of marine sediments and marine life may have seen noticeable alterations as a result of climate change, according to earlier studies, but what were these coal samples petrified microbes showing? The researchers could not discover any proof that these extinct microorganisms were getting ready for any form of winter. Some even appeared to be planning for a warming trend that would persist for roughly 5,000 years. This warming trend did, however, rapidly stabilize. It's crucial to remember that bacterial life is significantly more resistant to catastrophic climatic change occurrences than dinosaurs or other complex mammals are. Bacterial life wouldn't probably vanish entirely even if the environment did shift significantly. Even though the scientists were unable to determine whether the explosion under study was the cause of the warming trend, they did find that it was very certainly connected to it. It is currently unclear whether or not this development had an impact on how these ancient bacteria evolved. Dano Volcano Eruption Studying the fossilized remains of these bacteria revealed another intriguing fact. Some of them were not only not concerned about the impending nuclear winter, but were also getting ready for a warmer period. It is estimated that this prepping process took over 5,000 years. So from where does this warming phenomenon originate? A volcanic eruption, most likely. Imagine that the asteroid that took out the dinosaurs stood head and shoulders above all previous natural calamities, like the playground's king. But as it turns out, a tiny guy named a volcano may have actually been to blame for the subsequent climate change. What our team has found is that the warming period that followed the asteroid impact was probably triggered by a large volcanic eruption known as the Deccan Traps that happened at the same time in India rather than the impact itself. That's right, rather than an asteroid, a little-known volcano might have wiped out the dinosaurs. This eruption was one of the biggest in recorded history, and it produced enough ash and gases to change the climate of the planet. It is thought that the emissions altered the climate and environment to the point where bacterial samples from the time period showed evidence of the emissions. That implies that the volcano's impact on Earth may have been equally as severe as the asteroids, if not worse. What effects did this volcanic outburst have, then? Well, it's thought that the significant emissions led to a huge extinction event, acid rain, and global cooling. That's accurate, up to 75% of all species on Earth were wiped out, not just the dinosaurs. And it's all because of an obscure Indian volcano. Let's not ignore the asteroid, though. Even if it may not have directly contributed to climate change, it nonetheless had a sizable impact. Dinosaur explanation in terms of numbers, researchers have shown that the average temperature was between 16 and 29 degrees Celsius roughly 66 million years ago. As a result, we can infer a few things about what led to the demise of the larger dinosaurs at this time. Given the lack of evidence for a collision impact winter, it's possible that the planet's general darkening was caused by a huge dust cloud generated by volcanic activity. As a result, the majority of the larger plants would have died, starving herbivorous dinosaurs and ultimately causing the breakup of the food chain. These ancient species die in a terrible and relatively quick manner. 
In any event, it's still unclear what exactly caused the extinction of the larger dinosaurs. But it's obvious that a terrible event occurred during this time, marking the end of one era and the start of a new one. Undoubtedly, the argument over whether an asteroid impact resulted in a nuclear winter will rage on for many years to come. One thing is for certain, though, even after all these years, the study of the extinction of the dinosaurs is a fascinating scientific field that continues to produce fresh ideas and discoveries. It serves as a reminder that, like dinosaurs, scientific knowledge is an ever-evolving entity that is constantly changing and capable of surprising us. Alright everyone here's where the video ends, thanks for watching. What are your thoughts on the demise of the dinosaurs? Tell us in the comments section below and I'll see you soon.